I think uh, it's, the advice I give to people is often to look at where their strengths and weaknesses are and yeah. work around that. Um, you know, if you've never worked in the you know the two million pound plus market, then I'd strongly recommend when you launch your own business for the first time, yeah. you don't go in out of your depth and try yeah. and do that. That doesn't mean you can't gravitate towards that over time. Yeah. Um, I'm very much a bread and butter man. Yeah. You know, I don't give me a two bedroom terrace and a three bedroom semi yeah. over a two million pound house any day of the week. I know what I'm doing, I know the clients, I know how to conduct myself. Yeah. Um, those, t- those days can come, those opportunities can come, but I think you've always got to have, a, you know, again, an indication of what your CV looks like in terms of what's out there in the public domain as well. So if you are selling stuff typically between 200 and 400,000 pounds and it's a two million pound listing, yeah. it looks like the, the odd one out, doesn't it? And you know, you're not going to be engaging with many people who've got two million pound budgets. That's budgets right. Yeah. If you've only got two hundred to four hundred thousand pounds, I wouldn't even know where to start. Like with the negotiation, like if if a house is on the market for two and a half million, and somebody offered two point four, I'm just going to take it. Fifty two point yeah. four yeah. million. There's no all of a sudden that hundred grand. Yeah. I wouldn't understand. Yeah. But I'll take it. Yeah. Fifty two point four million. I think you have to do what what you're comfortable with. And I think, again, I think this probably comes back to the way I wanted the business to look. I wanted it to be something that was a bit of a reflection of what I was all about. Yeah. You know? We do a lot of social media, we've done a lot of social media for a lot of years, but the person you get on social media isn't different to the person that turns up at your door. Yep. It's not like you're getting some sort of game show host on video. And then yeah, but I've, got, I've done that and got that wrong before. I've watched people who are, you know, really, and I use Ben as an example. Ben presents in, you know, you could pick up Ben, put him in his own yeah. Channel 4 program, yeah. and he'd be able to just yeah. run it, run yeah. his own show. And I remember joining and trying to present like Ben, and yeah. I'd look back, I'd go, I just look like a poorer version of Ben, <laughs> who doesn't really know what he's doing, looks slightly less comfortable in front of camera. And then when I started relaxing and being me, yeah. I'm quite grumpy yeah. sometimes. Right. You know, actually me just doing my videos, I'm being a bit grumpy some days, all of a sudden then that would get engagement with a yeah. certain yeah. sort of type of client yeah. that were, you know. The grumpy ones. The grumpy ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> just, you know. But I, I remember just thinking, and, and the more the more you're yourself, the easier it is. Yeah, you don't so. necessarily have to, you know, stress about putting on that facade all the time. Yeah, and and, and I think the other thing about you know, like video, while we're talking about that, it, it works really well as a filter. You know, you can get people to gravitate towards you by what they see and what they sort of become familiar with, and you become familiar to them, which is what happens in the coffee shop today. Yeah. And then when it comes to that moment in time where they are thinking about getting some advice about selling or mortgages or remortgaging or downsizing, whatever that time comes where they need you, you probably, that seed's already set. Well, you say the seed's already set, right? So again, we went out for coffee earlier. You obviously know Grantham, but if you didn't know Grantham, if you came to where I live in Margate, yeah. how would you choose what coffee shop to go in? It, was, it would always be a local independent. But you'd start. walk up and down, look in the windows, right? Yeah. And you'd go, okay, there's three or four faces in there. Yeah. I, I, I like the look of. Yeah nice environment I'm yeah. going to go in there and grab yeah. a coffee and for me the, the replacement of the shop window now where the high street is rather moribund yeah. it's you now you're looking for another window and the window if I'm looking for a, an agent in your area yeah. is your social media yeah. and, and me deciding okay Tony yeah. says a lot that I like yeah. or Tony yeah. comes across really well yeah. I've, I've got that well, no I, can trust. That, I don't really like him so they don't even we're going to clash yeah. they don't even get in touch with you so yeah. you never even, even cross swords never even hear them no absolutely it's a okay. perfect filter. 